Hello everyone, my name is Alicia of Twisting Turbans and today I decided to do a bite, nail biting no more challenge. That is a nail biting no more challenge. And the challenge will last for a total of three months. And the reason why I'm doing it because for 30 years I have been biting my nails and I had to figure out a way to stop biting my nails and figure out what is causing me to continue to bite my nails over all these years. And I've um, made several attempts in the past and it just never worked out for me. I end up right back at biting my nails again. And then one, until I started paying closer attention and really figuring out why, what is causing me to constantly put my um, fingers in my mouth and just bite my nails. So first, before I get into all the details, let me show you my fingernails. And here they are. I just want to document this first. This is like the beginning. If you can see my nails, my thumb, how short my nails are. And I've been biting for a very, very, very long time. I mean, this is like over, maybe over 30 years. Saying 30, but I think it's been over 30 years. But yeah. So I've been biting my nails for a very long time. And um, there are certain things I've attempted to do in the past that uh, that did not work. And um, one of those I tried um, false nails. I tried acrylic, which broke off. And my, I have very very thin, you know, nail bed. So the acrylics, you know, when I when they broke off or they were removed, my nails were removed and um, redone again. Um, it just got thinner and thinner, you know, by the second time. And, you know, if the nail, nail technician was to reapply the, the acrylic again, it would be pretty much to my skin, to, the, to my skin. The nail, there would no longer be a nail there. So, and, and if, uh, if they did grow a little bit, they would be so thin my nails would be so thin that they would just split and um, crack eventually. You know, they did not last. I mean, they would be so thin that the, you know, the growth of my nail would be over. I mean, they would just split and continue to split all the way down to where I had to just regrow them again. By then, I had bitten all my nails down. So that didn't work. I even tried the um, Bite No More or the little nail polish for nail biting. That didn't work. The moment I washed my hands, I was right back at it again. And that's why I had to figure out what is causing me to um, continually bite, you know, even though I've attempted on many occasions to stop. And um, number one is that, you know, I guess for me personally, nail biting is more like a soothing you know, mechanism, you know, it's like, like for, uh, for some people eating may, you know, be soothing for them. Eating is not really soothing for me, but nail biting is. It just calms me. I could be watching a scary movie and I'll just start biting my nails. And it just kind of just calm, calms me down throughout the movie. And I would do it without really paying attention or ever know, knowing that I'm biting my nails until after the fact. You know, that that's when I realize I've bitten them. And then if my nails feel pretty rough, you know, it feels pretty rough along the um, edges of my nail, uh, I'll bite. You know, if I get like a hangnail, I'll bite <laughs> or anything like that. So what I've realized what I needed to do to stop because I haven't bitten my nails so far in a week. And this is why I'm doing it right now, because if I'm going to grow it, it would be a great idea to document. And maybe this could help someone if I am very, very successful 
you know, with uh, growing my nails and my nails getting the length I want it to be in a three month time span. So this is what is working. And I, I just got really excited when I realized and I figured out what I needed to do. Um, number, the first thing I've done was get um, found some kind of inspiration, you know, to grow my nails. So I've gone to um, Pinterest or to Instagram, you know, pulled up, you know, various different websites that surround nail growth. And I looked at beautiful long nails, natural nails, and I said, okay, that's what I want. And I made a Pinterest board, you know, for nails. And I'm like, okay, this is my going to be my go-to inspiration and I just you know just look at you know the those nails every now now and then just to remind me this is my goal now that's number one but the number two which is also important is to I, it, I filed my nails I got rid of any rigid type um, edges on my nails and just smooth them out so then that way when I'm touching or if I'm doing anything like that to my nail, I'm not feeling anything sharp or pointy or anything like that on my fingernails. So my nails are nice and smooth. And that is also key to stop biting your nails. And the most important thing you wanna do, and I realize this is what really works for me or is working for me at this time, is that I apply an oil on my nail and I keep, or lotion, I lotion my hands and I apply, you know, an oil to the nail bed, this is the oil I use. And I use an oil like this with an application, you know, some kind of little application and I'll just apply it like that along the nail tip and around my nails and I'll just smooth it like this throughout my hand. Now I'll do this after I um, apply the oil to my hand and I'll you know see and this right here is very very soothing. I'm like wait I think I, I got something here. <laughs> That's when I was like wait wait hold on. <laughs> I think I, I found something. I realized I found something. And you know, I'm rubbing my hands and I kept doing that. I'm like, well, this is very, you know, soothing. So I'm liking this. And I just do this every day. I do it when I, um, I apply oil or some type of oil to my hand. If you have like a little applicator, um, you know, bottle or something like that, you just put a just a little bit into your hands and on your nails and just, you know, massage, you know, the oil, like an olive oil, jojoba, you know, any type of oil, it could be coconut oil, some type of oil on your hand and just massage it in. And I massage my hands, you know, and it's very, very soothing. And I just focus on the nail bed and I realize that my fingertips are become really, really soft by doing that. My nails have become very, very soft by doing so. And the, the pad of my hands, the palm of my hands become very soft. And it's very soothing to me. So once I do that in the morning, and I do it again like midday, and then one more time in the evening, I have no desire to bite. I dropped something. I have no desire to bite my nails. And I, I was able to go the full day without once putting my fingers in my mouth and without um, biting my nails at all. So that has been working for me and I just do it ongoing um, every single day. And I started doing my feet too, but I focus more on my hands because the goal is to grow my fingernails and um, to a nice length and then that's just my focus so it's just all in the hands if you got lotion put some lotion on your hands and just 
you know, massage your hands, massage your nails, because the goal is to at least get a month. You want to uh, take baby, I'm talking about baby steps here. Go one month without biting. If you can go a month, then you can go two months, then you can go three months. But go focus on a one week first, and then the next goal is a month, and then month number two, when you get to month number three, you should be at that point where um, nail biting or the desire to really bite the nail should be just about over and you should be into a routine of um, taking care of your nails and taking care of your hands and, you know, massaging your hands to become, you know, like, you know, a part of your, you know, everyday routine just like you have a hair routine and a routine when you wake up in the morning getting dressed um you know massaging the fingernails and the hand will be a part of your everyday routine and then that you have a soothing technique you know that will stop you from biting your nails so this is my nails now and in the next um, two weeks, I'm going to show you guys my nails again. Hopefully, they ha may have grown a bit. So if it's not two weeks, it will be um, beginning of February. I'll show like once a month. Maybe I'll do once a month or once every two weeks. You know, as I see improvement, I will, you know, do a video so you guys can see where my nail, my nail growth is. So. I guess that's about it for now. <laughs> okay, just I'm looking forward to, I believe it would be April, the 1st of April, something like that, uh, where I should hopefully reach my goal. But I'm going to stay focused. And if you're doing this with me, hopefully you stay focused too. <laughs> um, let's make this something great everybody so thank you all for watching you have a wonderful day goodbye